Good morning my Cricut crazy friends. This is Lisa and I wanted to show you something I discovered on my Cricut Artiste cartridge which you can order through um, close to my heart and of course I am a independent consultant for them so I would love it if you would visit my website and order from me. But if you have your own consultant please order this cartridge. You will find so many awesome uses for it. Right now I want to show you one of the uses I found for it, and I'm using my Gypsy, um, just because, you know, I can do so much more with the Gypsy. You can use the Cricut Craft, uh, Cricut Craft Room to do this too, I'm sure, but um, I'm kind of hooked on my Gypsy. So what I'm doing here is selecting my 12 by 12 mat, and then I've got my cursor there. I'm going to go to my keypad there, and I am going to pull up the Cricut Artiste cartridge. As you know, in the Cricut Artiste cartridge, you will find out that um, they have all of these great 3D objects. And one of those great 3D objects is the um, cupcake liners. Well, guess what I found you could do with cupcake liners, and I'm just in love with it. Um, you can uh, this. You can make crowns for your little girls. If you have little girls, you want a little party, you want something to do with them, I suggest doing this. I did it for a friend. We made crowns for her daughter's birthday party for being a princess. They went and got some cheap bling at the dollar store, and all the little girls that attended got to make their own crown. It was awesome. They were so excited. So what you're going to find, I'm going to use page 80 in the Cricut Artiste Handbook. And the cupcake liner is Accent 4. And so I'm going to pull that one up. And Accent 4. And we're going to do this crown right here. Alright. Now I'm going to go back to my page. What I want to do is increase the size of this. And I want to make it as big as I can. Um, and the unfortunate part is if you do it this way, it doesn't get as big as you can do it. So I'm going to go over to the Advanced section and use the Kerning tool and rotate it around as much as I can just to get it kind of diagonal because I think you can get it a little larger that way at least that's my take on it you know I'm a no math wizard and by far I'm not an architect or anything like that so anyway use your little kerning tool turn it the way you want to turn it to get it diagonal get back on my image go back to the basic and then I want to increase the size as much as I can and move it around, you know, to uh, get it where I want it on my page. Again, you don't have to have a gypsy for this. You know, they have the free product software from Cricut.com. And that's Cricut Craft Room. And I think everybody's in love with it. But again, I'm kind of stuck with what I want. So right there, you see, I have got it. I don't know if you can view this. If you're seeing this as well as you could, I'm going to go in as far as I can and see if I can shift it around a little bit so that you can see. Okay, so there it is. That's what I want to cut. Now, we're going to shoot down on my jip, my uh, Cricut. You can see I have the red Cricut. That is not the Cricut cake. It is my favorite. What I'm going to do is put my mat up here. I have already pressed it down and made sure that it was where it needed to be. On my Gypsy, I'm going to click Cut, Load Mat, Okay, and the first screen that pops up, once I hit the uh, cut button, is going to tell me to be sure and check my settings. And I've got my pressure and speed both at max, um, so I'm good to go. So all I'm going to do is hit OK. And we're going to cut this cute little crown out. I love the cricket expression. I don't know what people did before because I didn't become a crafter, a paper crafter, until I bought the expression. But I just adore it. I, you know, I, I think it's a wonderful tool. And yes, they've come out with the cricket too and all that. But um, I just love my expression. It's everything I want it to be. I also have the cricket imagine, but I can tell you I don't use it nearly as much as I do the expression. Um, Maybe I will this year because I did buy the Christmas cartridge for it, Santa's Village. I'm really excited about that and hopefully going to use it on some Christmas projects. But uh, by and far, this is the one I use the most. 
my beautiful red Cricut Expression. Wish they had some white end caps for it. Um, not that silver is bad, but it's just not what I like. I like the red and white idea. Coca-Cola, maybe. Anyway, so as you can see, it's cutting out this cute crayon. And almost done. I would probably speed through this for you if I could, but I have no clue about how to do that. So y'all are going to get stuck listening to me run my mouth. Alright, so there we go. We're going to unload our mat by pressing unload on the Cricut. And now, that cute, adorable little cupcake liner has become a cute, adorable little crayon. If you hold on just a minute, you'll see what I'm talking about. And how cute is this? Just to give them some cheap bling from the dollar store and let them make their very own crayons. You poke a couple of little holes on the bottom portion of this that uh, you can tie some tiny elastic thread through and then they could wear their crowns at a pr at a princess party. And I'm having trouble doing this on screen, but there you go. Is that not just the cutest little idea? This is Cricut Crazy Lisa, and I'm hoping you'll enjoy this. Have a great day, y'all. Bye.